Hey guys, today we're just doing a quick day in the life, a mini day in the life, and we are going to take some things to donation real quick, and then we're going to go to a little outdoor shopping mall that's around here. So I thought I would just do a little mini day in the life and haul if we end up finding anything. I don't know. It's just going to be a conglomeration of things. I also wanted to say that I'm trying to catch up on videos that I have filmed and just had never found a spot to upload, so I'm going to be doing those the next couple days and hopefully get the majority of those uploaded so they're not just like hanging out on my computer. So that's what just kind of it's a hodgepodge of videos. It's a little bit of everything being uploaded the past couple of days. And also we are thinking of Amy from Dream Flight 6000 today and the past few days. Her little Charlie just had open heart surgery and he is a fighter. He is a he's such a cute little guy. I mean he's just adorable. But we're sending them our hugs and our prayers. And um, definitely if you guys can send warm wishes and thoughts and prayers to Amy and her family, that would be great. Um, I know it's got to be a kind of trying time to have all that going on. I can't imagine. I mean, it's overwhelming just for me, and I'm not, I'm not Amy. So, um, but anyhow, we're sending lots of love to them and keeping baby Charlie in our prayers. So we're trying to wear lots of blue this week, blue for baby Charlie. Um, if you want to join on that, if you're on Facebook and that sort of thing, definitely do that. Um, but we are keeping her in our thoughts and prayers, and Dana in our thoughts and prayers as well, because she should be welcoming baby Daisy any day now. In fact, by the time this is uploaded, we may have a baby Daisy. So lots of stuff going on in the YouTube Mommy Meetup world this week. Oh, I got me too. We are at Geneva Commons, which is down in Geneva, Illinois, and it was quite a haul to get down here. I mean, we've come down here before since we lived where we do now, but I'm used to being closer because we used to live down more in this area. It's by Plainville, but um, this was a haul today. It was a lot of traffic, and it took a lot longer than I thought it was going to be, so I'm now regretting leaving so late because it's almost time for the girls' nap, and I'm sure things are going to go very quickly. So anyhow, we're going to run in here real quick to DSW and Home Goods and see what they have. And they're conveniently right here next to each other, so I'm gonna get the girls out of the car so Mom, we can go inside. My shoe! Do you Did have you find your shoes? No, I don't have the stroller either. That's the other thing, is I left the stroller at home. So this should be an interesting trip. You gonna find sandals too? was a bit of a bust coming down here but anyhow I'm trying to find these two specific bins baskets that I saw at the home goods that's by us and of course I didn't get them and I went back to get them and they were sold out and with stores like that once they sell them they may never get them again so I ran down to this home goods to see if I could find them down here they didn't have them but I did find these two cute bins so I ended up getting these so we'll just use these for um, probably the girls things are in closets and that sort of thing. I thought that those were really cute and they weren't that expensive like $4.99 So overall it was a bit of a bust, but at least we got to run down here and it, this is a nice mall to go to It's all outdoors. So it's a nice mall to go to whenever the weather is nice We don't get down here that often whenever it's obviously like negative 20 degrees and a bunch of snow on the ground So this was one of my favorite malls or just outdoor malls in Northern Illinois whenever we lived here before but now I don't get down here quite as often. So this is Geneva Commons. There's four over there. There's all the kids stuff over there. Jimbery, Strider. I don't think we're gonna make it all the way over there. There's Gap, Coach. Pretty much all my favorite stores are kind of that direction. You just barely see Sephora from behind the tree. And then over here there's Crate and Barrel, the California Pizza Kitchen. So they've got a little variety of everything here. We stopped in Home Goods in Algonquin. The girls got some of this blueberry pomegranate trail mix, which they're liking. And it wasn't a total bust because I got some cute things. I'll show you when I got home. I found something kind of similar to what I was looking for with just the harder basket because I thought this would be better for the area that I'm wanting to put it in. And then I found a really cute bowl, so I'll show all that when we get home. So we definitely hit the basket jackpot, kind of, except I wasn't able to find the ones that I wanted. Oh, well. <laughs> so now it's definitely home and nap time. We are back home from our basket finding adventure and at least we found a couple of cute things. I'll show you what we found real quick. All right, so at the first Home Goods, I found this cute little basket. And all these Home Goods stores are like within proximity of each other. So, you know, it doesn't take too long to pop between them. It's just a lot easier when you don't have kids with you. But this one I thought was really cute. I love this kind of geometric print. And this was only $4.99, so I got this one. And then Isabella actually picked out this one and... This one is a cute like little magazine size 
And then at the second Home Goods, I didn't find exactly what I was looking for, but I did get something that was similar to what I saw, what started this whole thing, was they had gray baskets that were like this. This one's more of like a grayish taupe. Um, and then it had a damask print on the inside and then a geometric print that was kind of like this. And so I was debating about them, but then I was like, oh, well, I don't know if, you know, I have a spot. And then I figured out the correspondence cabinet in the bottom of it, one of these would be perfect size. So I went back to get it. And of course, the first Home Goods was started. All this did not have it. So I got this one. This one should work. It's, so it's the size that I'm wanting and I like the print and everything. So there's that. I also got the kids this stuff. They like this blueberry pomegranate trail mix. I also ended up picking up another pack of these pillowcases. We have like just the white striped sheets, the white damask sheets on our bed. And extra pillowcases are always good. So I picked up another thing of pillowcases. And then my, the find I was actually the most excited about the whole trip, hi Luna, is this little bowl. I thought that this bowl was really cool. I happened to just see this like on our way out and it's got kind of a, you know, kind of I don't know what you would call this, maybe Moroccan inspired print. Anyhow, it's kind of got that throwback to like this geometric print that I love. You guys can tell me what you think this should be called, but anyhow, I love this bowl. I think I'm gonna put it in the dining room and I just thought it was really, really pretty. So I was excited to find that. So all in all, not too bad of a trip. I got some things that we needed. I got some things that I think I can use and we just got a lot of things. <laughs> There is what the bowl looks like in the dining room. So I really like that with the kind of colors that are going on in here. And actually it matches perfectly. I didn't even realize it when I bought it, but it actually matches perfectly with those little things that I have over there. So that kind of completes this area. And I'm totally open for opinions on this next part. Do you think that I should cover this up with a table runner? So this is what it looks like without a table runner. I have a tablecloth and a table runner, which yes, I know you're not supposed to do that. Or do you like it better over here on the buffet? and it kind of adds some color. I didn't know if it was too busy over here. So this is what it looks like. Let me kind of scoot back a little bit. So that's what it would look like on the buffet. And it does hang off a little bit on the buffet, which I guess technically you're supposed to do, but if it's on the table, it does not. And then the table would just have these place settings would have to get back into place. And yes, the, it's got wrinkles in it because I just got all this stuff. So, So then that's what the table would look like. So what do you think about that? As I'm looking at this, I like it with the bowl a lot better than I liked it without the bowl, but I think what I need to change is a different plate. Like that's a plate that I've had for a real, real long time. I've had it in dining rooms for years, like literally probably almost, oh, I don't know. It's been a long time, seven or eight years at this point. So I feel like it's the plate that needs to get changed. I need to get something that has some blues in it. So like for instance, this plate is way too small, but I could get one by this company, which is 22 and fifth, by the way. You can't even hardly see that. I think it does need a blue plate. And kids are up in planes, so we're gonna play for a little bit, and then it's gonna be dinner time. I was filming dinners earlier in the week, but I fell off the wagon. But anyhow, we're having uh, this chicken risotto stuff for dinner tonight, as we like this. And I had pretty much all crock pot meals left back here, and since I didn't put one in earlier, this is what we're having for dinner. We are upstairs after dinner now, and I'm going to work on putting away some laundry, and I also need to vacuum up here since we didn't do it earlier. Are you in your toy box? Yes, I'm sitting in it. It's more coachman go. Is that your pumpkin coach? Oh, yes. You go take a bath? I'm take a bath. <laughs> Destruction of Natalie's room. There's shoes and books everywhere. You ready to go take a bath? So the kids are in bed and I totally got sidetracked cleaning the floors and vacuuming and vacuum downstairs and getting ready to vacuum down here and clean the kitchen floors and everything and just kind of basically got all this stuff put in the dishwasher and all that. So I got sidetracked and I forgot that I had a box from Scentsy <laughs> sitting on the front porch. But if you guys have never seen, they pack it really well so the wax doesn't sit out there and melt because it is like almost 80 degrees here today. It's not like super hot, but it's 80 degrees. So, um... If you've never seen them, how they pack Scentsy stuff, it was inside this insulated thing and with like a little um, refrigerated pouch that keeps it cool. So that way it doesn't like melt when it's on your porch because it is wax. But I put in an order of all of these Bring Back My Bar scents. And I have had people ask in the past, I used to be a consultant like a long time ago, like a, I don't know, a year or two ago, if that's long. Um, but I ended up just 
for going it just because I didn't have the time, but I still really love my Scentsy. I have my warmers around, and people have asked in the past for me to show my warmers. So maybe as a part of Vlogist, or maybe later on in July, I'll do a, a warmer video, so if it's not your thing, just skip over it, but I have had a couple people ask about it. But anyhow, these are the scents that I got. I got French Kiss, uh, Baked Apple Pie, which is one of my favorites, Almond Cookie, this is a Bring Back My Bar, uh, Camu Camu is a regular one that they have. These are two regular ones, and those are two of my favorites. I got Go Go Goji, this is a Bring Back My Bar, and Cookie Dough, so I'm going to see what these smell like and see what my favorite is out of those four. Okay, so Camu Camu and Baked Apple Pie are two of my favorites. So I already knew I was going to like those. I also like Welcome Home is another favorite that I like to burn in my house. So just real quick, I've never smelled any of the four of these. I just bought them scent unsmelled, <laughs> if you will. And my favorites out of these are really like the Go Go Goji. It's very fruity and just a very fruity scent. I like that one. And I also like the French Kiss. It's just a little different. It's got a bit of fig to it, a little bit of fruit. It's not overpowering. I like that. My least favorite is actually Cookie Dough. I'm kind of bummed about that I thought I was gonna like this one just because I kind of like the bakery scents sometimes this one not so great in my opinion and then almond cookie is probably my next to last favorite it's maybe slightly better than cookie dough but the cookie ones were a little bit disappointing for me so anyhow those are my favorite bring back my bars that I ordered and I'm gonna go pop some of these into my warmers so I'm going to wrap up the vlog there. I don't want the vlog to get too long. And quite frankly, the rest of the night is probably going to be pretty boring because I'm going to be cleaning the floors and cleaning around the house. And my husband has to work late because he's got a big presentation coming up that he's doing for one of the vice presidents. So um, he's working on that and going to have to be working on that for the next couple of days, it sounds like. But anyhow, um, so the rest of the night should be probably pretty boring because I'm just going to be doing a lot of cleaning and then editing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our day in the life today and also I posted on my friend Facebook page which is facebook.com beanmommy.withstyle.5 It ended up with some sort of weird thing, weird URL. Anyhow, I posted on there vlogist question mark and yes I do think I'm going to be doing vlogist because that's one I usually tend to do. Um, always put the disclaimer out. I intend for it to be every day. It may not be every day. Don't panic, but obviously, I think I've been every day since Veda at this point. Not meaning to, by the way, but that's just the way things end up. I have a lot of ideas and apparently not enough days. So anyhow, I'm planning on doing vlogs, although at this point you guys are probably used to seeing me in your inbox. And um, that's what's going on around here. So have a good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.